Kentucky reported a third straight week of declining cases, but it is still the sixth highest caseload for the Commonwealth over the course of the pandemic. But state leaders say the trajectory is offering a source of hope that Kentucky could move out of the red zone by March 14th. In all the New England states that I'd previously used as comparators, they continue to decline. So hopefully if they are a predictor for what we have ahead, we'll continue to see these falls. And I share the governor's confidence that by the time we get to mid-March, we should be in a much better place. In what is only four weeks away can feel like a lifetime in the era of the COVID pandemic. State health leaders are looking at states like Rhode Island and New York, where COVID numbers have drastically dropped. Still in the thick of this Omicron surge, it is important to mask up, social distance, and get vaccinated in anticipation of changing guidance of what may be our first glimpse of a post-pandemic life in the Commonwealth. It probably makes more sense and will be easier for people just to have uh, the stoplight, the red, the yellow, and the, the green. Um, and, and certainly thinking about you know, masking on the whole and what the recommendations are, size of gatherings, um, masking indoors at different gatherings. I think all of that will be included uh, in the guidance. Guidance that the governor says will be for families and businesses to make the best decisions possible to bring an end to the pandemic. Stefan Dingle, WOKY 